new album In The Zone plants sex firmly in the driver's seat. And when you think sex and pop music, one other name comes to mind. Madonna. Though 20 years apart, the similarities are there. From the superficial, both blonde, sexy, great dancers, eye for the guys, to the more profound. How to win critical respect while pleasing crowds, pushing buttons, and living life in a fishbowl, and thriving. It remains to be seen whether Britney will ever have the kind of cultural impact that Madonna's had. Hey, Britney. But recently, the two have joined forces in a cross-generational pop synergy that's mutually beneficial. It also made for a pretty hot kiss. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when people are asking you about that kiss with Madonna? Who wants to know about that damn kiss? <laughs> I really don't understand the big deal, and the big deal, like, with me and Madonna kissing, I didn't, I'm like, has an America seen two girls kiss before? She touched my hair and moved around, and she was going like this, so I was like, just doing what she was doing, because I was so nervous. I was like, I've never kissed a girl before, so it was kind of like, it was kind of cool. Yeah. I kind of liked it. I don't know, but not that I would go around kissing girls, but it was like, it was a cool thing. It's Madonna, you know? I think all girls all across America are going, and if Madonna <laughs> kissed me, I'd be cool with that, too. Exactly. Did she give you any really good advice, or what did she teach I mean, you? She, I mean, she's introduced me to a lot of new things. She's a true artist, and the fact that she does what she likes and she expresses herself in such the truest form. Just being around her is such an inspiration, because... Not only that, but the way she carries herself with her, you know, her family and her kids, her priorities, and the way, you know, she gives, like, you see that, and you're like, oh, you can do that, too. She's also a believer in, what is it, Kabbalah? Kabbalah, or, yeah. yeah. Have you explored that, or is I'm not completely real as deep in it as most people yet, but it's something that, like, once you start, it's very intriguing, and you want to know more and more about it, so I'm at the beginning phases right now. It's just really weird from being a, a, a Baptist and being so about religion all my life to, like, turning to something completely different. It's, like, it's kind of weird, but I like it, you know? It's just, like, I'm searching. Because you have the schedule you have and the life you have and you're traveling so much, can it be lonely? Yeah, it can be uh, extremely lonely sometimes. Yeah. yeah, like you, I mean, I have a great group of people that travel with me, like, you know, my assistant Felicia and stuff like that, and I think it's really important to have them around. But there are those moments where you're like, <clears throat> Yeah, you get like that, but that's when I usually write my journal. I'm kind of a private person anyways, like I love what I do, but I kind of like being alone. Yeah. It may sound kind of weird, but I like spending time with myself. But is there a difference between um, alone and lonely? I don't think I've ever felt like extremely, I mean maybe a year ago, I had a, a part of me that felt really lonely. When I'm... Um, really kind of just like in a lull state when I'm kind of dark sometimes that's when my best creative stuff comes out yeah like if I'm kind of um, in a dark moment that's when all of the best stuff comes out for me so. I'm surprised to even hear that you have dark moments oh yeah oh yeah I have plenty of those moments but now I feel more alone than lonely yeah, yeah. Are you happy now? Yeah, I am happy. I think I, right now I'm going through like such a new phase in my life. Everything's coming out and I'm just like adjusting to everything and it's very new and exciting and I don't know what's going on, but it's cool. You know, it's like, it's a cool feeling right now. Hey baby, we can dance all night long. Over here, I got something to show ya. Sexy lady, I'd rather see you bear your soul. Hey, welcome back.